Things may be slow during the bear market, but there is still a lot of things we can learn and get excited for during these times, including scaling on Cardano. In today's video, I want to cover an in-depth or a pretty in-depth version of a scaling method on Cardano Layer 2s using ZK rollups. First things first, if you have Cardano ADA, you can stake it to impassive ADA on your ADA with the Jack stake pool. Now, in today's video, we are covering Orbis Projects thread, and this thread is about ZK rollups and the scalability it can offer to onboard billions of people onto Cardano and power billions of daily transactions. Obviously, right now, there isn't really billions of transactions going on on the Cardano blockchain, but that is the goal here. And to be able to do it through a layer two is a great way. And ZK rollups are often talked about on how they can scale trustworthy chains while keeping that layer one security and, and still using a layer two rollup uh, or layer two solution to scale like ZK rollups, which are great at that supposedly. Okay. Now digging deeper into this, which we are going to do today, we'll find out the advantages and the limitations of ZK rollups and where we're at right now for ZK rollups on Cardano. A layer one rollup protocol or the process involving ZK snarks must be implementable on Cardano. And why is this important? Since this genesis of the Shelly era, a Cardano transaction can at most be 16 kilobytes in size. The ZK proofs should be able to fit into regular transaction on Cardano. So they have to fit within this size. This is where something called Halo 2 comes into play. Halo 2 is essentially compatible because it proofs are very sufficient and it can fit inside of these limitations of a 16 kilobyte size transaction. But there are other factors that affect compatibility between this Halo 2 and Cardano's mainnet or linking it to the L1 from the L2. Uh, for example, Cardano transaction CPU and memory limits. As of now, it may or may not be possible to verify a Halo 2 proof in a single Cardano transaction. For this particular issue, more study is going to be needed and to determine the most efficient way to do ZK snark proof verification on Cardano. Now though, let's look into the performance of ZK rollups on Cardano and what they have to offer. The most relevant performance measures for a user are latency and throughput. Latency is the amount of time between a user initiating an action and the action actually getting through and being completed, and throughput is the number of user interactions in total. Basically, how much is being done um, in a certain unit of time versus how long does it take to do a thing. So here we have throughput. Um, obviously, this is the same amount of time, same latency, but a bigger pipe, meaning more things can fit in that unit of time and the throughput is higher. If you look down here, you can see it's the opposite. How much is being done is the same, essentially. It's just taking a longer amount of time. So same through throughput, just more latency. To understand latency, let's take a look at the important steps involved. There are three steps involved in using a dApp on a ZK rollup. Moving inputs from the L1 to the rollup, and then posting transactions on the rollup, and then moving outputs from the rollup to the L1. If you want to pause the video and take a look at this diagram, heavily encourage you to do so. Um, it is a bit hard to read, I would say, but the process is what we just described. Moving inputs from the layer one to the rollup, posting the transactions on the rollup, and then moving outputs from the rollup back to the layer one. So just really batching everything, doing them on the rollup, and bringing them back to L1 to verify again. By definition, the latency of a concurrent process is greater than or equal to the sum of the durations of the longest chain of steps in the process. A good example of this is adding funds or moving funds from the rollup is limited by throughput and latency of Cardano. When it comes to the throughput, a ZK rollup example Orbis architecture should be able to scale to any level that the market supports, aka billions of users. In contrast to an EVM, an Ethereum virtual machine, the EUTXO model of Cardano allows for a local state for the smart contracts and parallel execution of transactions, aka better throughput. And because of this, ZK rollups on Cardano can achieve a higher throughput than the Ethereum virtual machine based ZK rollups, which is a very good thing and can really scale past other blockchains and compensate a lot of users at once, essentially a limitless amount of users using this methodology. But there are some limitations. A rollup is the fastest way we know of to easily secure a trustworthy blockchain like Cardano. But a rollup isn't really currently implementable on Cardano. And that's because, by definition, rollups are L2 solutions, layer 2, that bundle hundreds of transactions into a single transaction. Rollups transactions get executed outside of the L1, but the transaction data gets posted to the layer 1, as we mentioned earlier. 
which allows ropes to be secured by native layer one security. This is really good, especially when we're trying to deal with billions of transactions. We can now do it using rollups and also still having the layer one security. But although, you know, this is great, it can't actually be implemented right now. I'll go more into that in a second. But what makes this special is the ability of rollups to minimize the trust assumptions and be secured by native L1 security. For that, layer one should have an effective data availability layer. And that would allow the rollups to post data on layer one. And right now, Cardano doesn't exactly have this. Uh, if you want, I made a whole video on data availability and how it's important for scaling and how Orbis has mentioned this um, to scale for mass adoption and billions of users. Data availability is obviously a major key in that, as I just mentioned, being part of the ZK rollups plan. But if you want to know exactly what that is and how that comes into play, I also have a video on that. It'll be linked down in the description. So make sure you check that out. But essentially, this is important because, as I mentioned, DA plays a major role in these other things like rollups for consensus and liveness of the rollup. It allows block producers to be held accountable for the data they post to the network and for creating new blocks and updating the consensus. Currently, that is not possible on Cardano because Cardano is optimized for data unavailability at the moment, meaning Cardano does not make the data available until the data is actually needed to execute a transaction. So the data availability layer is not available. We have to rely on Validium. What is Validium? Well, both ZK rollups and Validium are a layer two protocols. The post validity proofs to the main chain to be verified by an on-chain verifier contract. ZK Rollups uses an on-chain data availability layer, data availability layer on L1 to store data, but Validiums have stored data off-chain, so not quite as secure as ZK Rollups in the sense that they are um, inher inheriting the decentralization and security from the layer one protocol quite as much. Because it uses an off-chain data availability, Validium introduces additional security and trust assumptions to the system architecture outside of the layer one, what I just said essentially. And this means users may be unable to withdraw funds from the rollup contract, even if operators or of proven nodes should act maliciously. Hence, due to the lack right now of a data availability of the layer on Cardano, Orbis will be launching first as a Validium with an off-chain data storage solution, and then transitioning towards a rollup with the minimal trust assumptions after the evolution of data availability on Cardano. To wrap it all up real quick, a rollup is the fastest way to easily scale a trustworthy blockchain and assuming there will be a lot less assumptions of trust because we're not running any off-chain code and we're pulling data straight off the chain. If we have it available, that is the goal here. Implementation of a rollup on Cardano has its own advantages and limitations. The ETXO model will allow for even more scalability, but the lack of a data availability layer imposes restrictions in deploying a rollup at the moment. And if you're looking into more about zero knowledge proofs or ZK rollups, there is a similar thread for a rollup -centric, centric future and how rollups can be really good, especially for Cardano. So I'll leave that thread in the description. I'll leave this thread in the description. And I'll also leave the video on data availability in the description so you can understand more about how Orbis, specifically this project, is scaling for Cardano and their understanding of how they're going to do so so far. Lots of good stuff, lots of great information. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's been your friend Jack. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.